Clyde Lee Dennis here. And today in our 7 Good Minutes Extra segment, we're diving into a really touching piece of wisdom. As you'll recall from this morning's episode of 7 Good Minutes, our thought for today is, be kind to unkind people. They need it the most. Now, where does this quote come from? Well, variations of it have been attributed to various authors and thought leaders, but the essence remains the same across the board. This quote pushes us to look beyond the surface level behavior of people and to understand the deeper emotional or psychological struggles they may be dealing with. You see, unkindness often serves as a mask for deeper pain or insecurity. Think of a coworker who always seems to be critical or a friend who has a tendency to make snide remarks. Instead of coming from a place of genuine malice, it's often a protective mechanism. A way to cope with their own set of fears or inadequacies. When you respond with kindness instead of mirroring their negativity, you create an opening for a more honest, meaningful interaction. And sometimes, that's precisely what the person needs to turn their day, or life, around. So how can you apply this in your day-to-day -day life? Start small. The next time you encounter someone who's short-tempered or rude, instead of reacting defensively, take a deep breath. In that moment, silently wish them well. It doesn't mean you have to let people walk all over you. Standing up for yourself and setting boundaries is crucial, but do it from a place of kindness, not animosity. Over time, you'll find that your own mental state improves when you choose kindness as your default setting. Here's a thought-provoking question to ponder. How can you replace an instinctive negative reaction with a mindful, kind response the next time you face an unkind person? Give it some thought. It might require a bit of emotional intelligence and practice, but the payoff is a life lived in harmony, not just with others, but also with yourself. And as our positive affirmation for the day, today, I choose to be a source of kindness in a world that desperately needs it. There's incredible power in kindness, folks. It can change the atmosphere of an entire room, lighten the mood during tense moments, and most importantly, it has the power to change lives. Your single act of kindness can set off a ripple effect of positive changes, not just in the life of the recipient, but also in yours. Remember, kindness is a gift everyone can afford to give, and the world sure needs a lot of it right now. Until next time, I'm Clyde Lee Dennis, and this has been 7 Good Minutes Extra Extra.